You know, I really thought this was cooler because I was going to be like, oh, the past couple days, instead of going to the gym, uh, I decided to finally clean my car that I haven't cleaned since the start of winter, which was like November, September, maybe even more than that, actually. And now uh, I cleaned my car yesterday. It took me like three, four hours to do that. And then today I was like, oh, I should go to the gym. But then uh, I got lazy. So I'm going to make do by not going to the gym by doing other things I've been putting off, like cleaning my room because there's stuff everywhere on the floor. Wow. All right, I should get this started now. All right, nothing on the floor now. I think I'm pretty satisfied with how this looks now. Woo! Actually, I take it back. Having a really clean and everything organized room is actually very satisfying again now. Got all the stuff that I want organized onto here. Whoop! All my clothes, my fake lemon tree, all my little lamps. Actually, don't look at the wiring over there. I think I still need to tinker with my desk a little bit, but... I'm happy with how this looks. Also, I do not normally have my monitor up that high on the second left right there. Absolutely nothing. All right. Oh. Uh, the attempting to fix and jump start and see if it actually runs or not mission for the other car is going to have to take a little bit of a postponing break because uh, apparently <laughs> I actually can't believe out of all the things that I could have done today, I forgot to charge the actual jump starting battery thing. But uh, at least the room's clean. Woo! Oh, I got dizzy looking at that. Alrighty, Tuesday, March 20. Wait. Oh, I almost just got ran off the road by the Amazon Prime delivery driver. Oh, how exciting. Uh, I think I'm safe now. Yep, I think I am. So now I shall depart. But what is it? It's now Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. And it is 2.03 p.m. And I have not made my promise yet of going to the gym earlier than that. But, but, I'm still going to the gym now, though. At this point, I'm probably sound like a broken record saying, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, but yet I still haven't done it. And I just dropped my keys. I feel them. It is a beautiful and gorgeous day today. I will say for the past three days, even though I haven't gone to the gym, I was able to at least alleviate some sense of this utter doom that I didn't do anything by, you know, doing other things. For example, I finally washed my car uh, since the last time I washed it, which was, I'm gonna say somewhere in the summer. I have not touched my car in terms of the cleanliness of it for several months, basically almost half a year. And I finally did that and it took me about four hours on Sunday But I am very glad I got that out of the way. But one thing I really need to do again is I cleaned the interior of my car yesterday as well for a couple hours. Not three or four, but maybe I think like an hour and a half, maybe even almost two. Where I scrubbed everything down, cleaned all the windows, and I am feeling a lot better now too. And I also cleaned my room the other day as well. So a lot of things, and I like a lot of things that I've been kind of postponing and not doing, I finally ended up doing them. For example, like yesterday too, I feel a little bit more accomplished as well because I know this sounds a little bit silly to like think about it this way where 
you know, is this really that big of a deal? But I streamed again yesterday as well, which I found extremely fun. And it's like the thing too, it's like where I could kind of look at it this way and people, you know, I could get afraid where people are like, oh, is this guy trying to become a content creator? He's made, he's filming his YouTube videos for his gym. He's streaming on twitch.tv uh, of his silly little video games where he doesn't even play half the time because he speaks too much. Yeah, or I could just think of it as these are just fun hobbies that I like doing and I like doing them. And that is as simple as that. I'm extremely glad and happy that I, able, that I was able to make the time and effort to stream yesterday because I had a lot of fun. But I also realized there are things that I can do to balance things a little bit better. Because for example, I used to have that mindset that I'm only going to stream two hours, maybe three at the maximum, and I actually accidentally streamed. Well, I shouldn't say accidentally. I still had the conscious decision to do so, but I streamed for, I think, four hours yesterday, which was a combination of things that I would say was inefficient. For example, as uh, past my bedtime, you know, which is always really important. I should be going to bed on time because if I go to bed on time, then that means I could probably wake up early and actually go to the gym uh, before 2 p.m. Because right now I'm probably going to be facing the rush, the wrath of all the people getting off work and all the people getting off from school right now too. So always a little bit awkward that I've been filming recently when it's been busy at the gym because, again, when it's busy at the gym, I feel a little bit more awkward filming just because I have to be a lot more mindful and aware of the people around me. Because if it's not busy at the gym, I don't really have to care about that as much because there's nobody in the background of my shots. But, 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 I have once now realized that I can still have a good workout even if the gym is busy because I now know a lot of alternatives now. That being said though, with chest in mind, I am, I do always go into chest with the idea that I have like certain exercises that I really want to do. Because I've been really liking the chest press machines recently, so I think I'm going to be doing a like a flat style chest press machine, like the one that I like the one recently where it's like I think the word that they use is converging, where like the arm path kind of moves in towards the center, and then after that, it's been taking every single time I've been going to the gym for the past couple chest days I've been doing, but the hammer strength isolateral incline press is one of my favorite machines to use just because it feels really nice but it seems all the other people seem to find it nice as well because it seems to always be occupied for every single chest that i've attempted today another thing i need to make a note of is i need to cut my nails today my nails are extremely long and i hate that i think that also means i probably need to cut my toenails too i don't know if it's like a one-to-one -one equivalent of cutting toenails and fingernails at like the same rate of growth but they are both long and they both need to be trimmed, so I will be doing that. So my goals for today are, uh, I still need to knock out at least two, three, maybe four hours of extra work once I get home later, but I want to finish my gym session today. I want to eat at least a minimum of 160 grams of protein today with as minimal calories as I can eat without you know feeling terrible and feeling bad the entire day. So I'm thinking, I think, I've been thinking my current calorie count recently has been hovering just under 2,000. Because I think my meals recently have been hovering around anywhere from 6 to maybe 800-ish calories at most. Three meals a day. And I know if I were to have three 800-calorie meals, then 8 times 3, 24 would be at 2,400 calories, right? But I think I've been just hovering at 2,000 or just under 2,000 for how much I've been consuming for the past couple days which I think is a pretty decent spot because that is still under the calories of, uh, under, like, that is still under the amount of calories that I was consuming on the bulking phase. So I'm gonna tinker with that for maybe about a week or two, see how I feel, see if I maybe feel a little bit too hungry or if I need to add in more volume with other, you know, like, you know, voluminous foods that don't have a lot of calories, for example, like fruits and veggies. Or if there's other things I can add along the way too, so to maybe up the protein, decrease the calories, stuff like that. It's a little bit always experimental in my opinion, but isn't that the fun of it though? Because even right now, like everything at the gym, in a, gym, gym, the gym in a way is experimental because I don't know if, if any of this is even working for me or if it is working, could it be better? Could it be worse? I don't know yet. But I'm currently liking my current workout split. I do wish to be a little bit more consistent, but I mean, doesn't anybody? Well, I guess, actually, I guess it's not anybody. I, I feel like there are definitely some people who are too consistent, and maybe they need a rest day here and there. 
But what a beautiful day, guys. It is 66 degrees today. I have 88 miles left on my gas tank. Funny how I see a lot of repeating numbers today, right? Uh, there still seems to be construction on the road to the gym, so I shall be cautious as I drift at the cones like an autocross event. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty fulfilled, even though I did take a longer than expected rest period for the past three days. I'm glad I got other things done, and if I want to be like the goofy person that says it, I can be like, oh, washing my car was a workout in itself, which it actually kind of was. Like, my calves have been sore since my leg day and I think they're even more sore now because of how much tiptoeing I had to do. Like technically I, I was doing static calf raises the entire time I was washing my car because uh oh I'm gonna get outed as a man lit, as a short person. But after purchasing a vehicle that is taller than what my previous vehicle was, I had to be on my tiptoes a lot to clean a lot of the, the upper area of the car and uh, that took a, quite a quite a beating on my calves, if I'm being honest, because right now, even to this day, which is about, you know, the last time I did legs was Friday, and now today is Friday, or not Friday, it is Tuesday, and if you do the math, I am still currently sore in my calves at the moment, which is a little bit alarming, where I think, did I overdo, did, did I not eat enough in recovery for proteins and stuff like that? Is there something else? I just get a really good calf workout? I don't know. But my calves are still sore, which is shocking to me because they have not been this sore for this long ever because i'm even thinking about back when i used to get really sore from snowboarding a lot and i guess snowboarding isn't really like a calf oriented exercise but still there's a lot of your entire legs are being worked out in snowboarding but i would be sore for maybe like one or two days and that was about it and even for after doing like a like a strenuous leg day i'd be sore for about two days maybe three days max but quads and hamstrings feel fine but my calves my calves are not fine. They are not fine. They are screaming out in agony at the moment. Well, not in agony. They're a little bit better than that now. Uh-oh, I'm a little bit nervous because three cars ahead of me is a is a big truck carrying uh, porta potties And there's about six on that little truck right there. And I do not want to be the car that just washed their car for four hours. Or in total, I guess six hours because I cleaned the interior too. But I still need to vacuum the inside though. My shop vac broke, so I need to buy another shop vacuum. Maybe I don't even need to call it a shop vacuum. I, I need like an outdoor vacuum, if that makes sense. Because, you know, you need an indoor and an outdoor vacuum. Because I, I do not want to have the germs and like the things I clean outside of that vacuum to be cleaning the inside of my house as well. Because it's going to be, you know, a little bit cleaner. It's kind of like, like if I were to like vacuum up dirt, I'm not going to go home and use that same vacuum to vacuum up my carpet, if that makes sense. But I have arrived at Le Gymnasium. Tomorrow might be a little bit of a different story. I really want to challenge myself tomorrow to actually wake up a little bit earlier and go to the gym early because I have to drop my car off to get things fixed at 1.30 p.m. And I think there's an LA Fitness near that dealership. So if I were to leave at around 9, I, I think I could pull that. Maybe even grab some food on the way there too. But... Before uh, all of that, before the next day even begins, um, warm up with a little bit of cardio. My calves are really sore, so I might not do too long today. Or maybe I'm just making excuses now at this point. But And then chest, I'm thinking six or maybe five sets of chest. Some side delt action and some abs and call it a day after that.
little arms my little dainty little arms are so shot right now I definitely kind of I don't want to say hate that's a strong word right but not the biggest fan of driving right after doing side deltoids because every time I just twist the wheel turn around I'm so sore right now like I, I don't know if you can tell by my body language I'm kind of limp right now at the moment Oh, I'm tired, which is this could all be a ruse right now. Did I record any of my side deltoid, the, the side lateral head of the deltoid sets? My side soldier, shoulder, sh all right. I'm gonna lock it in real quick. Start playing that lock in uh, sound. I forgot what it was. It was like, down, do, do, down, do. dude, I am just off my rockers right now. I'm just, I think, I don't want to say it worked out too hard, but I definitely think the last couple sets that I had in the side and in, in my in my little shoulder workout for the side delts, I am gassed at the moment. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> it's been about a week now since I started my caloric deficit or what I assume to be at least somewhat calorically deficientable. Dude, I'm just talking random stuff now at this point. All right, let me rephrase it. It's been about a week where I've been a little bit more mindful of either maintaining or losing some weight now. That is what I've been trying to say. And I can't tell today if it's a lack of energy because maybe I didn't, I also didn't really fully finish my breakfast this morning either. Because one thing I've definitely noticed is once I start trying to you know, trimming down on weight and, you know, controlling my portion sizes a little bit more. I noticed that I get full a lot quicker. And then what used to be that I could eat my normal breakfast of, you know, the 30 grams of chia seeds, 40 grams of oats, uh, two scoops of protein powder, 126 grams of uh, frozen blueberry or frozen berries of mix now, actually. 
it's actually kind of hard to finish that in one sitting now at this point. Maybe it's because, you know, I might be just sick of it. Maybe that's what it is. So that's having a harder time actually finishing it. But before I'd be able to just knock that thing out within, you know, maybe like less than 10 minutes and get on with my day, digest for a little bit and then go to the gym afterwards after doing a little bit of work. But recently I've been having a harder and harder time actually trying to finish that entire thing in one sitting. And I think that's definitely because since I'm starting to eat less, I get full a lot quicker now, which I guess is in a good way if I want to, you know, be in a caloric deficit because I'll be eating less that way. But it's also kind of annoying because I like that breakfast that I made for myself because it gives me enough energy to last a couple of hours and definitely last throughout the entire workout. And I'm kind of feeling like if I don't finish that, I am definitely feeling not as energetic as I usually was in the gym. Because today, I mean, I still got all my sets in. I did five sets of chest, which included two sets of the chest press machine where the handlebars kind of go in towards the center. Uh, the isolateral incline press was once again taken, not even joking, for the third week in a row now has been taken. So I did dumbbell incline press once again for two sets. And then I did one set to utter and complete failure with partials on my pec deck for a total of five sets of chest today. Then I also finish it up with five sets of side delts. And what did I do, even though it's a big mystery because I didn't record anything of it, was I did two sets of dumbbell lateral raises. I did 12.5 pounds last time, but since that was taken, I did 15 for less reps, but I still try to get them as clean as possible and really make sure that when I bring them back down, I bring it down as slowly as possible so I can really feel those side delts screaming wailing in agony and after dumbbell lateral raises i went immediately into cable lateral raises for two sets and then i finished off with the piece de resistance which to be honest at this point i still don't really know what piece de resistance means i just been saying it because i used to hear it a lot in the cartoons and media that i used to watch as a child i'm pretty sure a lot of uh whatchamacallit cartoon network shows had really random french being spoken or maybe I'm just thinking about Dexter's Laboratory because there's that scene where he's like, omelette du fromage. And I was like, wow. As a child, I was like, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Omelette du fromage. And I'm probably not even saying the correct French pronunciation. And I'm probably going to get beat up if I go to France one day and start saying that. But I'll say it in the safety of the USA for the time being. And it's also that weird time of the uh, <clears throat> day where you can see the moon, even the sun is still out. You know, that used to freak me out as a child. Whenever I saw the moon in daylight, I was like, the world's ending. It is over. We are so jover. I got to take cover. I got to say my prayers and hope for the best. And then the weird thing is, you would imagine that the curiosity of a child would incite some sort of research or some sort of like explanation that I would need for thinking, why is the moon out when the sun is still out? That's not light. right. That's illegal. Stop that moon. But for some reason, as a child and even as an adult, ooh, metal plate on the ground. Oh, bah, 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 bah. I never bothered looking it up until just one day. I think it was in like eighth grade science class where my science grade teacher, or science grade teacher, uh, my eighth grade science teacher mentioned it a little bit. And then I forgot again. And then I had to look it back up when I was in like in college because I was like, why is the moon out when the sun is out right now? But well, that's just a little random tidbit. I think I can squeeze my car into this little gap right here. Okay, we have made the squeeze. The squeeze has been made possible. That is a big truck right next to me. What is that? It's got like a weird paper thing on it. Oh God, my shoulders are so sore right now. Oh, I'm free to go. I am free to go. I'm free. Why is that car zooming so fast right now? The car behind me is giving me some bad vibes at the moment because they're driving a little bit recklessly. So I'm going to be a little bit of a defensive driver and keep checking my rear view mirrors to make sure that person doesn't rear end me because that would be unfortunate. Also, it is cherry blossom season now. Actually, it's been a little bit past it, but I've been kind of been more acknowledging it recently because the weather is so much nicer. And think about it. The last, all the last couple of gym videos I had, the sun has been shining. It's not raining, it's not gray, it's not 34 to 44 degrees. It is, oh my goodness, we, we got even bigger increase right now. We are at 67 degrees now, fellas. 67 degrees. We have gone from 66 to 67, and there's a spider on my windshield. There's like a little tiny spider about yay big on my windshield, and 
not gonna lie, I kind of feel bad whenever I see bugs on my windshield because I'm just like, is this like a nightmare for them? Like, is this the worst case scenario that they've ever been in? Being stuck on a car's windshield going 38 miles per hour, holding on for dear life so they don't fly off. But I also do wonder, due to the low weight and I guess low, would it even, would it, would it, would it, would it, we've, 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 uh, would it even be possible, or is it even the right case to say terminal velocity for bugs? Because I feel like, you know, if I fell from a 100-foot skyscraper, that would hurt me a lot. But if a bug fell from a 100-foot skyscraper, that probably wouldn't really affect them that much, right? Like, they'd probably live that far, right? Because if a bug falls from 100 feet, their terminal velocity is a lot lower than a human's. And I feel like they can, you know, withstand that impact. Because I'm not crazy for assuming that, right? Like, I know 100 feet is pretty big. And, you know, and the weight difference between... Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, the spider just crawled all the way up onto the ceiling of my car or the roof of my car. And I feel like I'm going to start seeing it on the sunroof now. I hope that guy doesn't make his way in. I hope there's no vulnerabilities in my car's seams and gaps that all of a sudden I just find myself with a spider on my leg one day. Dude, I remember one of the biggest jump scares I've ever had as a child was I was playing uh, Modern Warfare 2 on the PlayStation 3, and then when I was sitting on the couch, I didn't notice it, but I noticed the spider web first. First, it was like a little spider web that was just kind of dangling, but I didn't see a spider. It was just coming down from the ceiling, like, oh, what is that? So I kind of brushed it away. And then while I was in the middle of a search and destroy match, I felt something itch on my arm, so I went to go scratch it, and then I saw a spider just bolt on my arm like that. And I'm being honest, as a seventh grader, I like, I freaked out so bad that I immediately like, did this with my arms. Controller went flying, hit the wall, shattered. It didn't completely break. I just had a cracked uh, PlayStation 3 controller, but shattered. And then I remember a couple of pieces of like the little, you know, where you kind of grab, you know, on like a controller that like little two sticks that kind of stick out and you kind of grab onto it, that part. The right side of that shattered and I just flung my arms everywhere trying to get that spider off and then thinking back I'm pretty sure if I didn't freak out what was that spider gonna do bite me probably not. if I just stood still he'd probably just think of me as a, some sort of like you know environment so he would just go along because like I want to randomly bite a wall because that's what I like to think about I, I became a little bit less afraid of spiders once I realized that if I just remain calm I'm just a giant tree to them and if I climb a tree as a, you know, as a person in my mindset, I know a spider and I don't have the same thinking and brain power, but if I climb a tree, I'm not going to bite a tree unless I know that tree is sentient and is trying to kill me. Then I might bite the tree then. But if I'm just a calm tree, I just, just a tree that I'm just, you know, climbing on, I will, there's no reason for me to bite that said tree. So I just need to remain calm. But yeah, I flung my arms around and to me, I don't know where that spider went. All I know is that it wasn't on my arm anymore. And it was terrifying. In that moment, I was terrified because I I wouldn't say I'm completely over my fear of spiders and I don't have like a crippling arachnophobia, but I definitely did not like spiders growing up. Definitely was not a big fan of them. Now, again, I'm not like the type of people that can just like have them on their hand and just let them crawl around and be like, oh, look at this cute little critter. But I have this rule now. Maybe it's unfair. Maybe I'm morally immoral. Maybe I'm just a, you know, bad bug moralist but if a spider is a certain size to some extent i will try my best to not kill them and i'll try to cup them in a paper towel and then release them back out into the outside of the house because here's my ideology for that bigger the spider means it eats bigger bugs and if it eats bigger bugs it probably eats mosquitoes flies and other bugs that i probably am not the biggest fan of so in a way, I, it's like an investment for me. If I go through the risks to try and save the spider, I hope that spider catches a lot of mosquitoes specifically and eats them so that I get bit less in the summer. So that's my ideology for that. But, ooh, very nice Supra. Mark IV just rolled by. Very nice indeed, it was black too. Had some shiny chrome wheels, but I couldn't tell what they were because it was spinning, because it was rolling. Uh, what, 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 what was I going to say again? That guy has the Fujirara Tokyo. I mean, not the Tokyo. The Fujirara Initial D logo on his not 8.6, which was an interesting find. Oh, but I am sore. There's a car pulling up behind me. Actually, maybe I'll just do this and see if this guy can wiggle in. Can I give him a little bit enough space if this car doesn't pull up closer to me? 
what if I do this? That guy's giving me strong, awkward eye contact at the moment. So I'm going to do my best to just look straight forward and hope that he doesn't look over at me. That is all I am praying for. I think I have successfully shared and let this person into the lane. But they are in a little bit of a predicament right now. Yeah, scooch a little bit forward. You're kind of sticking out on the lane right now, good sir. Oh, man. My chest is sore. My side shoulders are sore. The only thing not sore that I just remembered and I forgot about. I forgot to do abs. You know what? I'm going to go home and do planks. I'm going to I'm gonna see if I can actually push myself to do planks today. I haven't done planks and I think over... 10 years? I think the last time I ever did planks was in high school. Which is, you know, it's definitely been a very long time since I did planks. And maybe I'll do a little bit of that. Or, I could skip it. <laughs> or I could skip, I could skip doing abs altogether. Who knows? I don't know. But, you know, I'm going to keep myself a little bit accountable today. I went to the gym late. It was too busy. I forgot to do abs, which... I actually can't believe it. I was just so tired after I did my, what was it, my side delt sets that I just walked out of the gym. I just said, screw this, I'm going home. I need some calories in me now. But I think I'm gonna challenge myself. I think after I have my meal, maybe I'll go on a walk because the weather's so nice. I'll go on like a nice like 15, maybe 10 minute walk around the neighborhood, come back, do my planks, do a little bit of extra work, shower, and then call it a day after that. I think that's the plan for today. And I really am going to try and challenge myself tomorrow since I do have that car, was it, repair appointment at 1.30. If I get to the gym at around 11, that means I can still have around, you know, give or take two hours to work out. And then have enough time to get to the dealership and then just chill out. And hopefully even have enough time to maybe grab some food so I'm not starving at the dealership the entire time. Or I can bring myself some snacks too. Maybe I can bring like two protein bars maybe even a, bring a shake, who knows? A lot of options, there's another house being built over, my goodness. Like, I don't wanna be like the person that's like, they're ruining the area, but my goodness, every single plot of land that was, you know, that wasn't a housing development for the past 10, 15, 20 years, every single unoccupied plot of land now in my area now is being turned into a, like a neighborhood now, which I don't really know how I feel about it because like it was really nice to have all these you know unoccupied pieces of land because I could just go on a random wilderness hike little well random wilderness adventure but now this is neighborhoods now am I a stickler am I a boomer now for having these thoughts I don't know but I do enjoy Washington for you know the the very lush I don't maybe I shouldn't say wild the very lush greenery that we have but that is all starting to fade away in my area Maybe I do live in a very suburban area now. Oh my goodness, I forgot the elementary kids are off from school and there's children running around everywhere. I'll let them, are they crossing? Are they not crossing? You can go ahead. <sighs> Remember fellas, when you're driving, always be mindful of children. We never know what's going on through their mind. But on that note, I got some protein that needs to be ingested, some walking that needs to be walked, some abs that need to be worked on. And I think today is off to a pretty good day. Obviously, a little bit of a late start, but I'm gonna I'm gonna force myself to leave early tomorrow. I'm not gonna dilly dally no more. No more dilly dallying for the dilly daller. It's time to lock it in. Do, 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 do. Oh, I see the train in the distance. You guys see that? If I make this turn, you might be able to see the train in the distance. Yeah, never mind. I missed it. I missed it completely. But on that note, my chest was bumped. My side delts have been worked. My abs are non-existent. And it's time I start trimming down. So wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever goals you aspire to achieve today, I hope you reach them. 
Eat well, drink well, and have a wonderful day. Peace.